In the previous lecture, you learned how to create elements with JavaScript, but the elements won't appear on the page until you add them to the DOM. Remember earlier when we talked about the DOM being a tree-like structure with nodes and branches? Well, that tree is what we use to place our new element or DOM node. You'll do that by selecting an existing node and then appending or adding our new node as a child. Appending a node to the DOM can be done with the appendChild method. We can call the appendChild method on the parent element. We select and pass in our new child element as an argument. Now at this point you might be wondering, what is the difference between element and a node? Well, for the most part, you can think of them as being interchangeable. In simple words, nodes belong to the DOM while elements are plain HTML. Now let's see how it works. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript DOM. And then open the index.html file in the browser. In the index.html file, remember to link app.js file. Now in the index.html file, let's find out where we can append the list item we created in the previous lecture. So as you can see here, all the list items are nested inside this UL element. So the UL is the parent and the LIs are the children. In that case, if we select the UL and append a child LI to it, the LI will appear as the last item. Let's see how it works. In the app.js file, I'll start by selecting the parent element. In this case, it's the UL element and assign it to variable UL. So I'll type let UL assignment operator document dot get elements by tag name and pass in UL. Remember, this method returns a collection, which is like an array. And there's only one unordered list on the page, so the collection will hold only one item, which we can access at index 0. So I'll type a set of square brackets and pass in 0. After we have created the new list item, we can append it to the UL with append child method like this. So I'll type UL dot append child and pass in LI. I'll save the chains. Refresh the page. And I'll type Kia. Click the add item button and it works. So we have created a new list item and appended to the DOM, but there's one small problem. Notice the text we type it into this input isn't getting cleared. And if you want to type another list item, we have to manually clear this text first. So let's write some code and clear this input after a new list item is added. In the app.js file, just after we call the append child method, we can use the value attribute to set the input's value to an empty string. And that will clear the input. So I'll type add item input dot value assignment operator empty string. And while we are at it, let's do the same thing up here for the input that updates the list description. So I'll type description input dot value assignment operator and empty string. All right, I'll save the change. Refresh the page. I'll type key again. Click the add item button and it works. Good. So up next, I'll teach you how to remove an element from the DOM.